what is the case? Are we really doing making improvements, or are we still failing? Uh, I think we're still failing. <laughs> I think there's still a lot to do from an, an economic uh, climate perspective. Yes, Montgomery County or Maryland as a whole does have a reputation for having a good uh, space for entrepreneurship and for, for starting businesses. But the fact of the matter is when you start to get into some of the larger businesses, we're losing to Virginia. I think it's wonderful that we have, we've gained more jobs. We need those jobs. And I think Montgomery County and the state of Maryland has done a wonderful job in many ways. But we're not as business friendly as we should be, we could be, and we need to be. We only focus here on Montgomery County. And is the business community any better elsewhere in the state? Not at all. You look at Baltimore City and its unemployment rate is far higher than the, the national average. And I have to tell you, I can't tell you the last time I challenge any of us to think of a time when a major corporation located to Baltimore City. Anyone? Anyone? Um, to me, the really sad, disappointing thing about this state is that we've got a somewhat corrupt, obviously, look at the prison scandal, Democrat one-party monopoly, and that lack of a two-party system has really chased away, I think, business, innovation. You can have that great idea, but you need to stay in the state once you start making money. And with the rain tax um, and 37 new tax increases from 07 to 2012, who would locate a business here and, and thus employ Marylanders? Mm -hmm.